Get the door. Get the door. Get the door. Next one <laughs> is I walked in on my son having <laughs> with my brother's wife. Throw away. I, a 44 female, walked in on my son, 18 male, having <laughs> with my sister in law, 34 female, brother's wife, in a cabin, and I think they have been having <laughs> for a while. My brother, 37 male, moved in with us in February with his wife and two children. My husband, 44 male, and I have a big house on a farm. My husband is a farmer. And with everyone working from home, we thought it would be a good chance to stay together as a family and for my nieces to spend time on the farm. I have three children and all of them live with us. The oldest is 18 male and the other two are 16 female and 13 female. On the day my brother arrived, I went to buy groceries with my son and he went on to the pharmacy to get his gym supplements. Let's go. Oh, wait, no. Things. I shouldn't be on his side. <laughs> well, it's good that you're getting your gym, gym supplements. That's cool. <laughs> um... All right, he went to go to his uh, gym supplements, and I bought the food. I saw condoms in my son's plastic bag when we arrived at the house, two packs with 36 condoms each, so 72 in total. I didn't think anything of it. I thought he had gotten it for a girlfriend and wanted to be safe. Everything was fine. Everyone got along. My sister-in-law and son would go on an early run around the farm. Everything seemed normal until last month when they left on their run, but I was up baking and never saw them make any rounds around the farm, which was weird. I asked about it and they said they decided to hit the road. I thought nothing of this. Everything seemed normal. My sister-in-law and son seemed to have a very, very good bond. Yesterday, I was coming home from a friend's house early in the morning and the sun wasn't up yet. And it was a little dark, but I saw that the cabin we have in the farm was open and the light was on. I thought maybe one of the employees had forgotten to lock up. So I went to close the door and switch off the light. As I got closer, I heard people having sex. And I took a peek, and it was my son and my sister-in-law having sex. I didn't confront them. I was in such a shock. I still haven't told anyone what I saw, and I don't know what to do. Should I confront them? Should I tell my brother? Should I tell my husband? I'm so confused. I've been doing a lot of thinking. I'm sure they have been having sex for a while from the condoms. My son was always at the house and never brought a girlfriend. The morning runs around the farm. Do they really go on a run? Do they have the close relationship is weird. What do I do? Oh, is it weird? Uh, <laughs> is it really? <laughs> you think so? Yeah. And, okay, what? This happened a month ago? And you just, like, been sitting Barely. on this information? I didn't really think about that part. I didn't really digest it. <laughs> like, you know what? On top of that, what's probably best case scenario instead of talking to my family? Reddit. <laughs> Let's I go. Know. Okay, this is what I do. Okay, I go home literally that day, not a month later, but I tell you, and we're going to get our son together and we're going to talk to him. After that, we're going to we're going to kick her out, but she, we're going to give her you're going to tell my brother. Oh, the son? You're going to tell him right now? No. Me? No, her brother. Her brother. The, the, the brother? sister-in-law. <laughs> sister-in-law. The sister-in-law. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that don't make sense now. <laughs> All right, yeah, I get you. I'm going to talk to the sister-in-law. Yeah. I'm like, you're going to pack your shit, but before you leave, I'm going to give you the chance to t tell my brother what's going on. Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, I won't. I won't tell him. And I will. Duh. <laughs> what if I, what if you don't tell him? Oscar. I get you. My bad. All right. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I got can, this we, can we all agree with me when I say no. she's no. cut? <laughs> <laughs> she's yes. cut. Yeah. No, she's cut. No, she's cut. She's cut. cut. Okay. Everyone agreed for me. You heard that. Hey, man. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think there was any other way to say it any more better than the way you did. I think confronting your son and your husband, I, I, it's, it's such a sticky situation. Yeah. Not, you know, that's a really bad use of words. But um, I, I think the way you approached you know. it is like right on the dot. I think you have to give her the chance to, to be a counter. I just like you're a little ill. <laughs> I would approach it you think that's the the best way to approach it, it because this is life altering family decisions yeah. that were ruined relationships are ruined yeah and i i think that's something you don't tiptoe around you just have to be very blunt to put it you know and, and sad, sadly enough i think your son has to be also in the full 100 percent. like he has to understand and comprehend that he made a mistake yeah, yeah. and sadly would enough, you guys have peeked in to the yeah the, probably a little bit mm, what was sorry one more time? Because how she found out, she heard people doing it, so she peeked 
And well, then gotta, that's when she saw that it was her son. I gotta know what's happening. Up. If I hear his and shit, like somewhere, I, I gotta know. Yo, this is my farm, bro. This is my cabin. Okay, Who the fuck happened? Hey, this is no animals in the back. This man yeah. <laughs> Imagine it is. <laughs> no, no, but I, I, do, I do kind of chime, like, chime into there. I, I do, at the same time, I do not want to see it, but at the same time, I do. Because, yeah. because, well, you gotta know. Because you, you have to comprehend your own blood and family is cheating. And I think that that kind of like compromises. But you didn't know it, who it was. Facts. But it could have been just some randos. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, even if it's randos, I need to know what's going on, bro. Like, Nobody having sex here without me knowing. Peaked. You know I what I'm saying? I think for a split second to see, like, what I the fuck. Peak. Yes. Would peak? Okay, I would the peak. way I would have handled it, I would have never found out. Maybe that would be pretty good for my mental health. Um, but. <laughs> I am like hearing that I'm like what the fuck you know I, I, would, I would leave I would not peek Yo, what the fuck? I would leave and come back later when I assume they're not in there anymore right. and now put a lock so that it can't happen again with just random people using nah, my shit but you gotta peek homie cause you gotta know what's up in your property yeah. bro I 100% agree and I think it it's, I do not need to see it yeah and, and it, it's I agree but you're not gonna stare at that. About, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> okay, but tell me that she's not forever gonna remember that image of her son. Of her son, yeah. But who would have thought she wasn't expecting her yeah. son? You know, so it's like, I don't need to see anyone. I know. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised. As funny as this story, not funny. Obviously, it's a really bad story. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised. And we'll probably hear this in just a moment. So I might be jumping the gun here. But in, in terms of somewhere down the line. Am I the asshole for kicking out my sister-in-law? Oh, snap. <laughs> we might just pass up on this story once again, but... Okay, okay. A part that I haven't thought about. How, yeah. Like, your brother. Oh, uh, bro, that's a... That's, that's really Yeah, how dying. do you deal with that situation uh, when he finds that's a falling out? out? That's a falling out. Imagine Hard, he bro. doesn't believe the sister. Because... Hey, like, that was not... Assuming that the, yeah. the sister-in-law told him. Oh. Okay, like, if she tells him. But, like, how do you look at your brother and, like... I know what my son did. I'm sorry. No, dude, that's hard. I feel like he'd had, bro. He wouldn't be an uncle no more. Like he'd probably disown that 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 yeah, kid, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, you just. But that's your kid wife, and dog. that's your brother. So yep. like, yeah, no, uh, you probably some therapy stuff, bro. Doesn't therapy stuff for the, the 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 uncle, right? The, your brother, or whatever. Like go to therapy to try to forgive your your nephew, and also the fact that your wife cheated on you. But uh, but Ooh, for the son, her. you'd have to. She's There's out. consequences, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think Oscar kind of mentioned this at the very beginning. We're not giving any type of professional experience. This is like our own personal, <laughs> unprofessional experience. And so I, mean, I, trying to say? I, I think it, it's it's very hard to assume what would happen in that situation. I mean, we can speculate all we want, but there there is some form of trust that's going to be broken. And, and yeah. as sad as it is, Definitely, yeah. you know, you're going to have to not only defend your child at one point, against the conversation with your like it, it's just not going to be pretty ending one way or another yeah but you know, you know what, family though? family over everything you know and I, I just hope this is something through therapy through whatever resolution you have to figure out just know that you guys move forward together it's not going to look like that right now but somewhere down the line you know family yeah. family yeah. always yeah. sticks up for one another and i disagree with you on that but well, <laughs> in terms of our family sticking up with you, yeah, what do you mean? it just depends it's perfectly fine to cut some family members of your life mm -hmm. and sometimes people that are not uh, related by blood turn out to be closer than your family Fair point. so yeah. i do think that I, I don't completely agree <laughs> okay i don't completely agree with you on that but something that i just thought about as the brother let's say i'm the brother I, I would obviously feel negative feelings towards my nephew but at the end of the day when your spouse cheats on you, you that's a problem between you and your spouse mm. yeah so in this case it's 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 your nephew but if it had been anyone else still i'm not blaming that other person i'm blaming my spouse because the person i have a commitment with is my spouse the one who betrayed you yeah ultimately and i i 100 percent agree and just seeing the bigger picture of everything there is there is no happy ending as no. sad as it is but there, there is, is an ending for them <laughs> a happy ending dun, for dun, them dun, dun. Oh. hit it update time all right Yep. I love this because there are so many <laughs> updates for these ones. Um, so we get to know what happens. But, all right, update. As was suggested by many of the comments, I decided to tell my husband first and proceed from there. My husband lost it. He first thought it was a joke. We talked about the issue and we decided we should first talk to our son before telling my brother. We confronted our son with what I saw. He already knew what was going on as he saw my Reddit post and put two and two together. Mm. 
Dang, what did Post <laughs> give it away, man? He Put didn't. two and two. It's like, that's exactly my story. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Born. This family living on Reddit? <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be. All right. He didn't deny anything. He confessed. He told us he and sister not have been having since February of last year. Dang. He was 17 at the time. <gasps> my no, son said it no. started on sister-in-law's birthday party he attended. They got drunk and had in a bathroom and they have been meeting at hotels ever since and sneaking off at family gatherings. Damn. After my, my son's confession, my husband just lost it and told my son to leave the house and go to our condo in town as he didn't want to see him in front of him at this moment. When my son was gone, my husband stormed into my brother's room and told my brother everything. Sister-in-law was not in the house at the moment. My brother lost it and packed his stuff, took the kids, and left. He asked where my son had gone, and he said he wanted to teach him a lesson. We didn't tell him, and he eventually left. Sister-in-law didn't return. I think my brother might have called her, or my son warned her, and she is too afraid to come back. Her things are still in the house. In all the screaming and shouting, my daughters heard everything mm. and are devastated that their family might be ruined. They miss their brother and are afraid my husband won't ever let him in the house again. My husband hates all forms of infidelity to the core and has always drilled this in our two eldest children that, that they must never cheat on anyone or be in a relationship with someone in a relationship. I know it did nothing wrong in this, but how will I ever look at my brother in that again? He won't answer any calls or texts. My husband said I should give him time to heal. My son has left the condo because he is afraid of what my brother will do to him and is now hiding at a friend's and he won't tell us which friend. No word on sister-in-law. Wow. That changes the whole story. He was 17. 17. Yeah, but that's some like crime shit. Yes. Right? That is, yeah. You can yeah, go to bro. jail for that. That's probably why she doesn't want to like face up because she knows yeah she if she gets caught she's getting yeah. caught caught you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and that kid if the two daughters know because they've been taught by their father to not cheat that means that the son was taught the same thing yeah, yeah. and I, i'm just really curious to hear your guys's input here knowing how how strong like just this family commitment to one another being absolutely no infidelity whatsoever do you believe maybe it sounds more just like the dad but being this whole family in itself are they going to pursue legal action what do you guys think I see they should be like, like, yeah, bro. What the, I think once, you're just on this line. once the kid is over age, I don't think they decide that no more because he's oh, over he would 18. Be the one that has to yeah, but technically, something. I don't know. Really? That's why I was kind of curious because it happened before. But the parents don't, don't, they can't, they can't actually no. pursue. If I'm he was 17 still, yes, because he's still. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. I thought it was as long as they're like the guardian or something. Or is it when you're 18, you're no longer need a guardian? Guess. Is that what it is? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. We're not professionals, but we're also sort of professionals. And then it would also, I feel like, depend if my brother yeah. would continue <laughs> being in that relationship. Mm. Is he going to stay with her? And then oh, I'm over yeah. here pressing charges? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, so, this is so bad, bro. Yeah, this is so is messy. Bad. Yo, y'all are really fucked up. Literally, bro. Y'all are really just out here fucking, man. Um, a question for you guys. Wait, what'd you say? Oh. Oh, you're fucking. <laughs> bro. <laughs> the thing is, it's like, why even do this, bro? Like, okay. There's so many people out there, too. Yeah, like, dude, if you wanted to smash someone, yes, like, bro. dude, like, your neighbor or something. Like, why the kid? Facts, like, dude. dude. Yeah. That's so I, know, man. I even though, like. Do you guys think, um, what is it? Ignorance and ignorance is bliss. Oh, oh don't, nah. don't apply that here. This is this is. Uh, -uh I, I believe this is something. I understand. Like, what if what if you just didn't know? Yeah, would have made everything better. But I I think. You know, one, think so. one way or another, you know, malintent finds its it's yeah. it always services one way or another. The truth right? always comes out too, and the I think it's best that it's that it came out because that's fucked up. It's also like both sides. Even if it's like you're ignorant of this situation happening, this sister in law seems really shitty, shitty bro. Yeah. Shitty. Like, if she's willing to do that, like to a minor dude, bro, you're like, what, 20 something years old, whatever it is? She's about 25, 28, something around there. Yeah. Hey, man, I don't know. I don't remember. But like, yeah, 20 something, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a 17 year old, bro. Like, you got to draw a line, homie. That's some illegal shit. It and is. so, like, if you're willing to do that, what else are you willing to do? You know? Yeah. Right, like, I bet she, bro, I, I'm willing to bet if this didn't break up the family, 
there was something else that she's gonna do or, some, or there would have been something else that she would have done that would have broken up the family well, how much point. longer does this keep going until Thanks. they they keep their secret yeah that's the other thing i was gonna kind of tap into because it's like for the brother's sake angle? yeah for the brother's sake i'm glad that it came out truth came out but if that was <coughs> part of the equation my son's a grown up that person's mm-hmm. a grown up did i need to know that? yeah well okay hear me out just this is my last little bit about this what if we were to go one more step further? Okay. What happens if she gets pregnant? No, that would be horrible. Yeah. Be so th- so that's, that's why I mean like timing is everything. Well, good thing you use condoms, but yeah. But let's just say like the big what if. What like, happened to <coughs> us? The well, we were saying a moment ago, how long does this secret keep going? And then I, I, I just think, you know, everything happens for a reason. And yeah. we're looking at this from, from just like the now aspect. I think eventually somewhere down the line, this is something... I don't know. You know, it, it it's not unrealistic to just own your kid up for something like this, but I just hope it's something at least the son feels comfortable to come home and just be held accountable. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But how are you held accountable? Like you what do you, no grounding like mm-hmm. you did what you did. Well, it, it it's it's that, but also the accountability part isn't necessarily it, it it's tough to like pick apart this story, but it's more specifically between the son and the father. The father installed one specific core feature of this family. And cheating is absolutely un- unacceptable. So that's why the son specifically doesn't want to come back. Obviously, there's the ramifications of everything. But, it, you yeah. know, the guilt of a child to not only feel disowned, but just the fact that you let down the core part of what makes your family, like, together. It, it's knowing commitment, relationship, yeah. like, integrity. Like, yeah. it essentially yeah. comes down to, char- like, core characteristic traits, right? Yeah. And that's why it's so demeaning and almost... I'd rather just not go home. And I just hope Thanks. eventually he knows he can come home and just be held. Like, just, just, you just have to bite the bullet. Yeah. Uh, it'd almost be one of those things where, like, as a father, I probably just I put the ball on his court. If he doesn't come back apologizing or just, you know, something along those lines, then, like, we're just going to be in no contact for a minute, at what? least until, like. I'm never going no contact with my child. Snap. Well, like, like said, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's tricky because it's it's hard for us to project how, like, we can only just yeah, imagine what we true. were doing in that situation. And Alma and Oscar, I think you both bring up really good points. You know, you're going through so many emotions in that time and place, and yeah, we we have to look at both perspectives. Like, the kid absolutely feels like he he not only he, he had to have known somewhere down in his core, like this this is absolutely the worst case scenario. But he's still cont- like that, you know, that in himself, the rush. he's yeah. having an identity crisis at, at the age 18 and yeah. his father can't look at him the same way anymore. And that, that's just something he, as it being the son, has to like own up and live with and just he has to move forward. Like he yeah. just has to be, he has yeah. to own up to it. He does. Yeah, By the way, she was 34. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, there is a little bit of info on this story, which just to add on to kind of, you know, give everybody a little more information here. But like, um, it came out that she was the one that was initiating everything. Like she's the one that booking for everything. She's the one that initiated the first time with him. Um, uh, she is the one like actually giving him allowance. Um, Ew, buy him food and shit like that. Like, for like, technically, then bro, yeah, that uh, she's the one of. I feel like honestly, it might even it's like probably as an adult because she really. Was an adult. He was kind of a minor in the beginning. It's yeah. probably like seventy thirty to be honest, because you should not be doing that, bro. Okay, first seventy right. thirty, like seventy percent her fault, thirty percent. He's a fault. minor, period. Well, yeah, but after the eighteen, you know, after eighteen, you're not an adult. Well, if he was thinking. groomed, that's true. Yeah. A lot of it is her fault. For the most I part. I agree, but at the same time, we we always bring this up, and it's always hard to determine because every child is very different. Yeah, but at the age of seventeen, well, all of a sudden it clicks into eighteen. He's an adult. No, at the, I personally think when, when you're at that point of 17, like you're, you're looking at the world like, you know, you're, you're looking at in, in a growing mindset and perspective like an adult, you're, you're conscious of the decisions you're making at that point. Yeah. And I, I, like I said, I think the kid yes, has to take full accountability for but that. To a certain extent, at that age, we think we know what we're doing. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Was that when you were running too? <laughs> 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 yeah, leave that for another episode. Right? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I think I think honestly, it was a lot of her fault. Um, that's a lot of that's a lot of wrong stuff with her. Like, I think the first one's an accident. You have sex. That's, yeah, that's not an, an ac- accident. Bro, okay, that is no, not no, an let accident. me put it like this. Like, no. all right, for, okay, first time, whatever. 
Leave it at that, bro. Stop, oh. stop it after the first time. What if are you, you saying? What I'm saying is like. No, what I'm saying is you're out that door. First time was an accident. Let me let me get it. Okay. I'm like saying. Let me put it this way. In this in their situation, not me, right? In their situation, <laughs> um, uh, she acts, she fucked them. That's wrong, bro. That's wrong. That's enough to go to jail. I yes. Let me. No, let me, you you just yes, need to stop. Bro, let me finish this one. I, 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 try, 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 I, I can I can I can dig myself out of this hole. Give me a sec. All right. <laughs> You you did that shit. That's wrong of you. But then you went and proceeded to like pay for his allowance and shit, and like take care of him and book all these appointments and shit, bro. You're gonna hell. Like this ain't no like one time thing. You are like building like a case for yourself at this point. Like you're you're basic, bro. Like what are you trying to? What's the end goal here? You're just gonna like take him, you know, like take over his life and stuff. Like what are you doing? So. That's what, I, that's what I was trying to say. I wasn't saying she's a good girl or whatever. I'm just saying, like, she really... I was saying first time was an accident. Fine. Right, let's whatever. go to jump next story. And that? for the record, and we always say that this is our unprofessional, <laughs> professional opinions. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just, happy, I'm just happy that we have the ability and the capability to, like, give our input in situations like this. It's just so far-fetched and, like, crazy for us to, like... At least for me, like, when, when hearing a story like this, it's like, this has to be fake, right? Like, it's just, it's just so out there. But I think what always, you know, it's always funny for me. Someone had such a traumatic experience. I got to put it on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it's no, it's no my family Some business. people are fucked up like that, though. You know? <laughs> hey, man, that's what's keeping this podcast alive. So you guys keep doing your thing, you know? I'm not going to judge you too hard. Anybody who's new, who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and, uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us, man. Hear some Reddit stories and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.